Welcome back to Leo Builds It. As you can see, it's back to being a mess. I literally have to tuck my gut in to walk in here. Um, which is sad, really, because I have my first commissioned piece. My mother-in-law wants me to make her a bar top table. Which is great because then I get to play with my woodworking tools and so forth. But as you can see, I have my worked table here. The legs are in the way. I have to shift myself around and snake myself around the pieces. Um, it's just a mess. So I have a solution for that. Um, actually, a couple solutions. I can one, get rid of all this crap which I can't do because a lot of this stuff is tools and parts and computers and scrap pieces of wood and plywood as you guys can see extra pieces of wood and tools just I need to organize alright so the airplane's is over um, the idea is I've, I'm about 80% done with my storage shed where I'm going to put everything that's here, everything's on the floor, I'm going to reorganize the, uh, the, the space. I put in my um, miner station to uh, piece that I made a few, a few weeks ago. This is it's been wooden for the, the chop saw. I need to figure out the dust collection portion of it, how I'm going to do that. I have a small three and a three horsepower Stanley vacuum I'll probably just hook it into that temporarily um, but that will go here my drill press that I got and reconditioned is here the drill press then is right here it's under a box but that will eventually go either in this far corner behind the camera where the stand used to be or will this will be removed and the wood will, will be recleaned this has to go away, it's a catch-all. I have a lot of stuff on the floor I can't walk in, and I'm gonna hopefully not knock something over. Oh, Lord. Oh, shoot. Oh, good. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a brief rundown. So all this crap, all this junk that's on the floor will be gone tonight. Um, yeah, because I've been teasing my wife about getting rid of all this crap and that TV in the back. Ooh, airplane. So all this stuff will be cleaned out. That TV will be mounted on that wall. That uh, drill um, storage cabinet I made over there will be removed. All that stuff in the wall will be removed. This wall needs to be redesigned. All of the pieces that I'm not using right now will be removed. That stuff in the corner will be taken out. Everything will be cleaned out tonight. Um, panning forward on a different project soon. I picked up a uh, four, a four horse Mercury for next to nothing. It was essentially free, so. That's that. Thank you, Mike, my buddy Mike, for that. Or my new friend Mike for that. Uh, my neighbor, her lawnmower died. It's right there. That needs a spark pack. It's 10 bucks. I have it on order from Amazon. My wood rack. This is my current wood rack. It's disgusting to look at. I agree. You guys aren't saying it, but I am. The doors I got for free, they're full of mold. So I've kept them out here. And um, I was going to use them for uh, components like the walls of this wood rack. And I did use two doors for the wood rack uh, doors, and they worked so far. Um, the 2x4s are not pressure treated so they've grayed out and they have some water uh, rot and damage and so forth. But they're sitting on 4x6s on either side. So they're 
pretty much protected from moisture from the ground level. Uh, believe it or not, I can take two of those doors and pull them to the front and they've withstood hurricane force once. So this wall has been completed with uh, shingles all the way up to eight feet high. Okay. I have a storage shed that I'll be finishing tonight. I have the you guys will be the first to see this. My wife has been back here yet. Let's see it. The door is heavy. So the idea is The idea is to take all the crap from that shed, clean up these two racks I've made first, uh, sort of through the boxes that I have in the other shed, bring them in here, and then uh, mount the door. Because I'll probably mount the door first and then clear everything out from here, sort it, go through my gas cans, get them full, filled up. We have a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico right now. It's a little late for that. But uh, get rid of all the, the junk. I have extra shingles from when I was making the the exterior of the shed. Uh, as you can see, kind of inside. Yeah, it's basically a free shed aside from. My neighbor's AC just kicking out. Diffuse it a little bit. Of oh, diffusing, diffusing. Okay, so the shed was essentially free. Um, a lot of the wood came from pallets. Uh, the plywood sheathing that's on the on it right now came from the previous owner's attempt to have hurricane shutters. These half-inch ply. We're using half-inch ply because it's cheap. Uh, temporarily until we get the windows replaced, which we'll get uh, hurricane proof windows for that. Um, go with me a second. Is that right there? So, uh, the previous owner of the house had uh, an extension cord wired into one of the exterior lights. Um, and and that controlled the lighting over the front of the workshop or the shed the workshop. That's no longer the case. That that lighting system now is all solar. So it's essentially free electricity at night when I'm out there working or like nights like tonight. The light in here is not. It's uh, still shore power. So eventually I want to move the solar panel to the roof of this shed and add three or four more solar panels so I can have a good 600 watt uh, solar solar hour system but that's later on so for right now I'm going to clean out the shed mount the door so for right now I'm going to mount the door clean out the shed um, get it ready to put stuff in it sort off the crap that I have been over there out um, and start working on the plans for my model laws build, which is right in here. I'm gonna have you guys take a look, see, and tell me what you think. But uh, this shed is, like I was saying, basically reclaimed wood, recycled wood from pallets, uh, free uh, sheet goods from that time I found the OSB at my wife's job, or the warehouse next to my wife's job. Put this back over here is the uh, extreme close up. So, this is the uh, shingling job I've done so far with uh, $10 shingle packs from Home Depot. Uh, this will get a 1x4 to cover 
pressure treated one by four across the bottom for the sill. These are the doors I use for uh, uh, the siding. I painted it so I can have uniform color because when you looked at it from the, the street, it was brown, white, green. Uh, the yellow extension cord was actually orange at one point. Sun damage will do that to you, ladies and gentlemen. Change colors. But that provides power to my other shed. And that's the uh, old uh, extension cable that's coming from this outlet here. Um, I wrapped it in con I put conduit on it so it wouldn't get damaged. I know it's not the code, but it's functional. It's not causing any fires. So for right now, I'm going to mount the door that I made, this door right here, with scrap pieces of pressure treated 1x6, one by, uh, one by not 1x8, um, that I ripped down to 1x3s. Yeah, one by three and a half, some crap like that. So I made the door uh, with scrap pieces of plywood. Um, it's reinforced with a two by six I cut down and two by fours. So it's got a frame in the back. This is what I'll be screwing into. It's sturdy, it's heavy. I have three more hinges for it. Sorry, two more hinges for it and I have a um, door handle. And then I figure out a latch system for it. But that's after I've mounted it. So that's basically the project for tonight. Getting clean this out. That's those are empty. These are all empty. Sweep it out. And then put my bikes in here. Well my kids' bikes in here. And uh on the back side. Now that I remember. On the back side I have Try not to kill myself. Uh, half inch ply. OSB. It's water rot. It's got water damage. It's got uh, sun sun bleached. But uh, what I want to do is I want to make a frame for the ladder. Put the ladder up, up against the the side. Make a frame so it butts out. And then when I shingle it. Uh, from the opening, which is will be sorry, from right here, will be about maybe six inches out. In will be like an envelope for the ladder, so the ladder will just slide in vertically. And but when you look at it, you'll have the shingles on one side. So it looks like it's one solid wall of shingles. Welcome back to uh, the old built it. The second half of the video, I didn't want to bore you guys with uh, me sweating profusely like a like a sinner in, in church <laughs> I am soaked in sweat um, but uh, here's the end result the I'm not gonna show you my disgusting visage right now because I'm sweaty so that corners got tools in it now which is what I wanted so I have an 8 inch table saw and I did say eight, say eight inch because I bought it with the intent with the intent of processing pallet wood with it squaring it up as best as I can running it through my excuse the bin my planer and here comes another damn airplane so I bought the table saw with the intent with the intent and purpose or purpose and intent to process pallet wood with it and things that are less than an inch with that one. I eventually would like to get another 10 inch uh, table saw. Uh, Del Walter are coming down in price. They're about 300 bucks now, 330 on Amazon. But I have my PowerTech uh, fitness planner here. I've seen some planners on Facebook uh, Marketplace for about 100 bucks. So I'm thinking about getting a, a joiner and making some sort of flip um, tabletop for that. But, uh, ooh, shoot. So, this right here, this table is collapsible. I'm not worried about that. That blue bin I've been looking for for ages. It's got my tie-down straps and my stuff for my uh, 
bug out bag. Uh, that is the uh, drill press table I made. It will eventually go from there to here in the corner, tucked away. Uh, this is the drill press. You guys, I like I said, I cleaned it up as best as I could. I took a wire brush, to wire wheel, the majority of it. Took off the green Delta paint, painted it black with a uh, black heat resistant painting paint. So everything is covered. Every every uh, section of it's covered. Right now it's dusty because it's been in here with me working on stuff. The fan that is currently a uh, intake fan which blows cold air from between the two the breeze from between the two sheds in here will then be flipped around to become an extract an extractor so we'll be pushing air out um this is my uh hacking toss that i have a part on guys how long the last thing i'm gonna do tomorrow before i start working on my first commission project will be to clean this out clean the bottom out organize it I have gang boxes for the electrical outlet that will be uh, going to the ceiling up top right there for the two lights, um, powered by the black extension cord that the previous owner set up for the lights. So I'm going to have that here, these two lights set up for that. I'm also going to be uh, wiring in another one. Uh, right next to it, adjacent to it. That's going to be just wired in uh, to the inverter for the solar system. So yes, the buzzing noise is that little inverter right there. It's 400 watts. Um, I have a surge protector somewhere in that blue bin down there for the kilowatt inverter. Um, the lights have been going, has been on since, I don't want to say about 8 o'clock Eastern. It's closer to 11. I'm at 12.5 volts on my battery bank. Um, I'm not even making a dent into it. But uh, again, thank you for watching Leo Builds It. Um, hopefully, by tomorrow, this worktop will be a worktop. And excuse my sweatiness. I live in Florida. And um, it's mid October and it's 90 degrees outside with 90% humidity and a sweaty mess. So, hopefully, tomorrow I'll do this side, organize it after all my scrap wood and my uh, panels, my, my 1x12s, my 1x10s, my, my 4 foot by 4 foot half inch ply. All the, the sheet goods that I have left over on that side, I'll make some stores for this and take stuff out of the cubbies and get rid of that. Well, thank you for watching Leo Builds It. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a great night.